You came here as head coach from Slovenia with experience in the European skiing circuit. Explain how you and Max came to start Whistler Cup. Uh, in 1989, I was offered a job here as a program director. I came fresh from the World Cup. I was uh, coaching at the World Cup, and for me and my young family, it was a nice transition to move to Whistler. Um, the idea about the Whistler, Mount, uh, Whistler Mountain Ski Club uh, hosting Whistler Cup came after the trip to Europe. Uh, I was uh, thinking at the time that kids in Whistler or generally in Canada didn't have enough exposure to international level of ski racing at that age. So we decided to take every year a few kids, uh, six, seven kids to Europe uh, to Trofeo Topolino, the biggest juvenile event in the world. However, uh, that was a very small group. Uh, one year a group of parents followed and they were traveling uh, to see the kids racing. Uh, one member of the club, Max Meyer, was very impressed with the event and uh, he, couldn't, uh, he couldn't believe the magnitude, the number of countries, uh, the level of competition. So we talked a lot about it and I was kind of challenging Max. I said, Max, you know what, instead of taking a few kids to Europe, we should host this event in Canada invite some of the best skiers in Europe and start event in Canada calling it Whistler Cup. So Max, uh, the way how he is, he's very detailed, very organized. Uh, he pulled together a group of parents in the club and that was the first year that we started with Whistler Club it was 1992, which is 20 years now. Uh, and the club members were um, were very enthusiastic about it uh, and it showed very quickly that Whistler Cup meant a lot to Canadian ski racing because it was producing some of the best Canadian skiers and some of the best skiers who are currently winning the World Cups were attending Whistler Cup. So Max, what do you attribute the big success of Whistler Cup over 20 years now? Well, the, the Whistler Cup has become this successful for many reasons, but the, the original uh, main reason for success was the fact that Air Canada gave us 20 tickets to invite the best European racers to come to the event. And this assured that we would have top quality racers here so that our Canadian kids can measure themselves against it. And the other main reason is uh, that we have very competent and hardworking parents that have run this event. Uh, once I was finished with the first two years, Jim Yates became the chairman, then uh, John Ray, and then Wayne Holm, all people who are very hardworking parents, and they in turn found other uh, keen people in the club to take it forward. The, uh, the Whistler Cup right from the beginning attracted some of the very best, and in 1993, the then 14 year old Benjamin Reich won the race, and here a few weeks ago, 20 years later, he still won a World Cup. Uh, we also, of course, had uh, Lindsey Vaughn winning several uh, years in a row, uh, and uh, people like Karen Putzer from Italy was in, in here in the first year, and uh, just about everybody who's ever been in the Canadian national team has participated in the in the Whistler Cup. I think the future looks very good for, for this event. Uh, first of all, it always starts at the top and Wayne Holm, who is the chairman now and is for his second stint in this position, is a very well organized, uh, uh, successful businessman. I'm sure he will keep it going. But the fact that our parents in the club have four years to learn about helping uh, with this event and every year they know more about it, uh, I think will ensure that it will continue for, for a long time. What's the funniest thing you can remember from Whistler Cup? The funniest thing I think I can remember from Whistler Cup is the, uh, the Russian team uh, landing in Montreal and asking us how to get to Whistler from Montreal. It was uh, going to be a long bus ride uh, to get there in the next couple of days. So that was a, a lot of scrambling to actually get them delivered from uh, Montreal to, uh, to Vancouver and Whistler. But uh, at the time, it, uh, it uh, was uh, quite an event. Uh, they had taken Aeroflot from uh, the uh, Siberian part of R Russia 
and uh, through Moscow to Montreal and that's as far as Aeroflot went and uh, from there we had to uh, figure out how to get Air Canada to uh, get them on a flight so it was uh, it was a lot of scrambling but lots of fun yeah but you got them here on time we got them here on time yeah <laughs> uh, I attribute uh, the Worcester Cup longevity to, uh, I think, the initial vision of uh, Yozha Sparovac and uh, putting together an event for kids, you know, trying to get the best kids in the world uh, exposed uh, to our Canadian kids and specifically the, uh, the kids in Whistler so that they had the opportunity to have an event that uh, most probably for most of them is the uh, top of their uh, athletic career and one that they'll remember for the rest of their lives. So uh, and I, th I think the, uh, the organization stayed true to that vision and uh, I think that's the foundation for the future and it'll, uh, it'll hold uh, the organization uh, well for many years to come. Hi, I'm Manny Osborne Parody, part of the Canadian ski team, World Cup winner and Olympian. Uh, being a part of the Whistler Cup was, you know, one of those dreams that I had as a kid. I think uh, it, 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 it just started, it, it commenced my whole career as an athlete where you really just want to com compete with the rest of the people in the world and to be able to do that at such a young age, I mean, it really led the way to my dreams of being a World Cup racer and then ultimately winning World Cups. Yeah. To all the kids competing, especially the Canadian team, because you know we're rooting for you and we're behind you, good luck this year at Whistler Cup. This is going to be a great year and I'm excited to watch all of you guys there this weekend. Perfect. That's it.